but this is a wonderful day for NC State, and it, it really embodies what this university means, our think and do mentality. Uh, this is another example of the great work NC State does uh, to really revitalize manufacturing in the country and, and bring the latest technology to bear on the energy uh, sector of our country. It's the largest single grant from a federal agency that NC State has ever received. The total investment in the Institute is around $140 million. It's $70 million from the Department of Department of Energy uh, and our other partners. There are over two dozen partners in this, in this institute led by NC State and collectively along with the state of North Carolina uh, we're bringing hundred and forty million dollars to bear on this institute. At the end of the day what this is really about is, is about developing technology that allows energy to move more quickly and more affordably with, that, with less loss of energy in the process. Wideband gap semiconductors are really the next generation of semiconductors that take us away from silica-based uh, semiconductor technology. They operate at a higher temperature under uh, greater thresholds, and in fact, they save tremendous energy. And if you look at system-wide, uh, around the world, we're likely to spend about 80% of the total energy use in the world on power devices. And this new semiconductor technology will really reduce the amount of energy required and enhance the efficiency of those devices. Well, I, I think the, the biggest uh, opportunity for us, in addition to the research, is really the stimulation of the economy that comes from work like this. The engineers that are trained, the technologists that are trained, the students that graduate from the universities that are partners with us that uh, have the potential to go into this in industry. And, and really keep manufacturing strong in America. What I'm excited about, and I know uh, the Department of Energy is, is this has the potential to reinvigorate and to stimulate manufacturing of semiconductor technology here in the United States. And we already have examples of that here in Durham. Uh, and that we, our hope and expectation is that this project uh, really works to reinvigorate uh, the manufacturing economy in the, in the country.